Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from TopTipBio.com and in this video I will show you how to create a population pyramid in PRISM. So a population pyramid, as shown on screen, is a type of graph that usually presents the age and sex composition of a specific population. Each row in the pyramid contains a pair of histograms back to back, so you can visually compare the measure between the two sexes. Usually, a different age group is presented for each row. The name population pyramid was coined since plotting a population in this way usually produces a pyramid shape with more population at the younger age groups at the bottom compared with the older age groups at the top. In this tutorial, I will use the 2019 world population data from the United Nations database. So let's go into PRISM and begin the tutorial. So there are a few ways you can set up a file to create a population pyramid. The first is that you can create a column table and graph, and this is the option that I'll proceed to do in this video tutorial, but you can also select to do a grouped table and graph to create the population pyramid. So I'm going to select the column table and graph. I'm going to enter import data into a new table and enter replicate values stacked into columns and then I'm going to click the create button. Since this is a column data sheet, the first thing I'm going to do is to show the row titles on the data sheet. And I'll do this by going to the view button at the top and then go down to row titles and then click this. So as you can see now, the row titles column now appears so you can enter row titles for each sample. If you're using a grouped data sheet, there is no need to do this step since the row titles column is shown by default. So I'll now paste in the data that I've prepared earlier. So this data is the percentage of males and females in the world in the year 2019. So obviously there are two groups. Group A is males and group B is females. And each row represents a different age group as indicated by the different row titles. So this is the use of the row titles is to label the age groups in the data set. It is also worth noting that to be able to create a population pyramid in PRISM, one of the sex groups should have negative values. And in this example, I have changed the male group data to be all negative values. Obviously, the values are not negative. Since you can't have a negative proportion of people in each age group, the negative values are there purely to aid with the visual representation of the population pyramid that you will see shortly. So now it's time to make the population pyramid. And what we'll do is we'll click on the connected graph sheet in the left hand window. For the population pyramid, we want to go to the grouped graph family. And then with the summary data tab, we then want to select the stacked bars option. And the stacked bars option we want is this one here. I'm going to click on this. So as you can see in the example, this is the basis of our population pyramid. And then I'm going to click the OK button to be taken to the graph. So now we have the basic population pyramid with males on the left hand side and females on the right hand side. The population percentage starts at 0% in the middle and the length of each bar signifies the population percentage at that age group. So longer bars indicate more people in that age and sex group. So currently the graph is in black and white. So let's quickly add some color onto the graph by using the change colors tab at the top. And this feature is explored in more detail in a separate quick tip video tutorial. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to select the floral scheme. So now we have some color on the graph. The males are colored in blue and the females are colored in purple. So currently the line thickness for the bars is quite thick. So let's quickly reduce this thickness by going to the format graph button at the top, which is here. And now with the data sets, I'm going to select to change all data sets because I want to change the border thickness for the males and the female groups. So this will enable the global settings to be changed and changing the global settings is explored in a bit more detail in a separate quick tip video tutorial. So I changed the border thickness from two points to be half a point and then I'm going to click the OK button to go back to the graph. So now you can see the border thickness for each bar is reduced and you can see the bar colors a lot more. So the next thing is notice how the males still have negative values on the x-axis. 
and this is because we set out the data so that all of the male data in our data table are negative values. So this is quite confusing if we remain as it is, since the population of males is not negative values. They are only negative values for the purpose of creating the population pyramid. So ideally we want positive values on the x-axis for the males as well. Now to do this we want to go to the Format Axes button by clicking on the Format Axes button at the top. I'll then toggle to the x-axis tab. Now under the additional ticks and grid lines box at the bottom I will add ticks where the negative values appear and this will change the text to positive values. So for example at x equals negative 2 I will then select to add a tick and then I'm going to change the text to be 2. So changing the value from negative 2 to positive 2. So if I click the apply button, notice now that the value for negative 2 has been changed to positive 2. So what I will do now is repeat this for the x values of negative 4. I will choose to add a tick, change this to 4, and I'll do the same for negative 6, and then change this to positive 6. And I'll click the OK button to return back to the graph. So now notice that the x-axis is positive for both males and females. So finally, I will give the graph some axes titles. So the x-axis, I'm going to change this to read population. And in brackets, I'm going to enter the percentage symbol. So the reader knows that the units are percentages. For the y-axis, this is going to be age groups. And I'm also going to, in brackets, enter years since the ages of these groups are in years. And then for the graph title, I'm just going to change this to be world population in 2019. And that right there is our finished population pyramid. So in this video tutorial, you have learned how to create a population pyramid in PRISM. And a population pyramid is a specialized type of graph that usually presents the age and the sex composition of a certain population. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.